Okay, so uh, today we're gonna start uh, with the last two topics of uh, general ledger accounting. Uh, one is the simple document, and the other one is the recurring document. So first, we're gonna start with the simple document. What is simple document? Okay, uh, simple document that is like a template document. Okay. For example, there are some entries which are repeating every month. There are some transactions which are repeating every month, but their amount is different. For example, every month you need to pay for electricity bill, you need to pay for the telephone bill, you need to pay for some office supplies, you need to pay for uh, uh, the internet bill also, right? So every month, these entries are same and let's suppose you are paying through cash or maybe through us uh, through uh, Emirates and BD check or Nur Islamic bank check okay so every month the debits and the credit are same but amount is different every month okay so what we will do we will create a template we will create a simple document in SAP to save over posting time so if the same entry is repeating the next month so what we need to do, we will just change the dates. We will change the amount and post the entry. It will save our posting time, uh, posting time. So that is a simple document in SAP. Like we have a mobile phone. In mobile phone, we have template messages. So we will, uh, what we are doing, we added those messages, forward to your friend, right? It will save our typing time. The so same case in SAP, if you want to save your posting time, so we have simple documents in SAP. Yeah, the document type for simple document uh, that is AB. The document type for simple document it is AB, and document type for the journal entries it is SA. Okay, the number range code, the number ranges for a simple document that is X2. For journal entries, it was the number range code was 01. Okay, but for sample document, the number range is X2. And for recurring document, the number range is X1. That is X1 for recurring document. That is our uh, next topic we will do after this uh, sample document. So what is uh, so? Uh, what we need to do first, we need to create a number range for this sample document first, and then we will uh, record our first sample document first transaction. So how to do this in SAP? So we are going in as uh, we are doing SPRO, SAP reference IMG. We need to go in financial accounting, financial accounting, global settings. In global settings, we have document. In document, we have this document number ranges. And here we have this defined document number ranges. So execute this. And here we need to enter the company code. Company code we are going to use that is IM12. And then click on this interval. So already we have this 01. 01 is for the journal entries. 02 is for controlling document. So we're gonna sell add insert a line. So we're gonna create X1, which is for recurring document. Let's suppose 30399 and X2 is for the sample document 2020 40499. This is how we are going to create the voucher numbering, the document number ranges for the sample documents and for recurring documents. Now Next step is that let's assume it that we are paying we are paying rent we are paying electricity we are paying for the traveling we are paying for the telephone bill <coughs> and the same entry will repeat in uh, in next month also so to save my posting time what I will do I'm gonna create a sample document first so how to create this sample document in SAP that is same in EC6 and S4 HANA there is no change. So we are going in accounting. In accounting, we have financial accounting. 
In financial accounting, we have journal ledger. In journal ledger, we have document entry. In document entry, we have last folder, which is reference document. In reference document, we have last option, that is F-02, that is simple document. So double click. So here you will enter the date when you are creating that sample document. That, that is a voucher type. This is not the journal entry. This is not the GL account document. It's a sample document. So the document type for the sample document it is AB. Tab. Here you need to enter your company code. So we are going to enter uh, IM12. Tab. This is our posting date. Period. That is August. So we are in month of August. Currency. That is AED. We already we just defined the document number ranges for the simple document which is x2 and for x2 we assign the number range which is 4000 <coughs> so it will come automatically so no need to enter anything here so reference number this is my first uh, document number uh, so I'm gonna enter 001 tab and here uh, I'm gonna enter let's suppose that is petty cash expenses that is my header then tab tab so first line item we need to tab it so let's suppose 40 we are paying rent so which is 6014 that is the GL account press center so we pay the rent for a car uh, we uh, we rent a car so let's assume it that is uh, 1000 dirham tab you need to enter this the cost center <coughs> Then tab 40. We are paying for the traveling expense also, which is 6015. Enter. So we paid for the traveling, that is, uh, let's suppose 800. And you need to select the cost center for the traveling. Enter. Then tab. Then we are paying for electricity bill also. So electricity is 2000. And you need to select the cost center so this is how that you will record all your expenditures all your transactions okay so we are creating a simple document right now and let's suppose we are always paying through this petty cash expenses through through a cash or maybe through a bank so you need to credit that so let's assume it we are paying through cash so that is 1000 or even if you don't enter any 50 here you can save it also it depends on you because maybe, maybe, let's suppose there is a shortage in uh, in uh, Nur Islamic Bank, but you, you have enough cash available, so you are paying the cash next month. So you can skip this also, and you can save it all. So press enter. In amount, you need to enter star, and in the text, you need to enter plus. So then you will go in document and post it. It will not simulate. You need to post it. So when you post it, it will give us a message the document 4000 which is a number range serial number for our first sample document was stored in company code IM12 it is not yet saved it is not yet posted that is a sample document that is a template document so that that is why it is stored in the company code IM12 so this is how we are creating sample document in SAP Smile and say if you have any question in creation of no sample question. Okay. No question. Okay, so next step is like if you want to add, if you want to change something, if you want to delete, if you want to display changes, or uh, if you want to display this sample document. So you need to go in accounting. In accounting, we have financial accounting. In financial accounting, we have journal ledger. In journal ledger we have document in document we have a reference document in reference document we have simple document from here you can change display display changes or you can delete so let's suppose we want to change uh, the simple document I want to add telephone expense also so that is FBM2 double click so this is our document number you can enter the fiscal year 2020 or if you don't know what is your document number let's suppose we already created four or five different document numbers so then you can click on this document list enter your company code 
skip this document number range enter the fiscal year which is 2020 enter the document type the document type for simple document it is a b it is not s a it is a b so execute so when you execute it will give us the list of all the simple documents which we created in our company code so right now we have only one right now which is 4000 so you can double click right so this is our sample document which we created okay so you can double click also so you can change uh, this uh, this this is uh, this assignment number this is uh, the text clear now if you want to display the, uh, that how many sample documents we have right so you can go here FB uh, M3 that is our document number company code click on this fiscal year 2020 and then enter so when you enter it will open the same uh, the journal entry which we enter the sample document which we created number uh, third if you want to delete this one so you need to double click this f.57 delete here you will enter the company code company code is im12 document number right now it is 4000 fiscal year is 2020 now if you want to delete this one you can execute this but right now this is check test run okay so right now when you delete okay when you execute this it oh, will yeah, not delete because it is right now in the test run but when you need to uh, when finally you want to delete this one then you need to uncheck this and then execute then this uh, this uh, simple document will be deleted now so how to post this simple document so our document number is 4000 we know this now let's suppose now we are in month of uh, September or we, uh, we are in month of October or November or December. Now we want to post this simple document. So we are going in financial accounting. In financial accounting we have journal ledger. In journal ledger we have document entry. In document entry we have this F-02 which is journal posting. Enter. And here you need to click this post with reference or you can click this document. And there we have an option post with reference both are same when you click this window will open you need to enter the document number which is 4000 that is our company code which is I am one two you need to enter the fiscal year which is 2020 and then in flow control you need to check the option display line items and then press enter so when you press enter it will open the same entry and if you're in month of uh, September, October, November. So obviously, as per the the month, you need to change the document date. You need to change your posting date. You need to change the period also. If you're in month of November 11, you, you can you will change this date also. Document in in the posting date. Okay. But the most important thing we need to change is that is our document type, which is now from AB it will be SA because now you want to post AB is a document type for the sample document and it will only store it will not affect the financial balances then so that's why the most important thing we need to change is that is SA so then uh, let's assume that we already changed this uh, uh, the, the document date and the, uh, the posting periods we changed from August to November and then you need to, uh, if you want to change this jail account also, this is not rent expense. We need to have a telephone so you can change the jail account also. Then press enter, you can change the amount also. This is the next line item. So if you want to change anything, you can change the jail account, you can change the amounts. Enter, enter. So uh, our debit side and credit side both are balanced. So this is how we are creating a simple document in SAP and then you need to save it so save this and a document number 1001 this voucher number is related with the journal entry 4000 was the number range for the sample document and it is still there even though and it is saved in your user id next year also in 2021 or even after four years if you're still working in that in that company you can still use that document number the simple document okay it is still there 
with the same amount with the same deal account post with reference that is uh, document number was 4000 that is a company code fiscal year is 2020 click this display line item press enter all you need to do this case is the deal account s8 enter if you want to change the amounts you can change the amounts enter enter this is credit so enter star enter so equation is balanced and then you can save it so document number 1002 was posted in company code i am monday so this is how we are creating a sample document and the posting of the sample document a smile and uh, receive any question smile you have any question no. Yes, I have. Once we make a document, mm -hmm. for example, uh, some recurring expense I want to pay only for three or four months. So this document will appear for me whole year until unless I will delete the document.